Welcome to Country Music USA, a program dedicated to keeping traditional country music alive to be appreciated by all. And it really ain't country unless you have a pedal steel guitar. It's like that delicious gravy on a country steak. Here are your hosts for Country Music USA, Bill Cook and Thomas Roten. Country Music USA, I'm Thomas Roten. Bill Cook will be joining me in just a moment. I want to mention we have a video that's been sent to Bill, and he passed it on to me, from Cletus and Sherry Hopkins. And this is an exclusive video uh, featuring Don Helms, the famous steel guitarist that was with Hank Williams Sr., and also, we have singing and playing guitar on this same video, uh, Lamar Morris, that was with Hank Williams Jr. for many, many years. And uh, we're going to play this. This is a home video. This is not professionally done. It's not, uh, it doesn't have all the, the uh, commercial mixes in it and all that. But uh, I feel like the, the content is so valuable and uh and we just want to thank uh, cletus and sherry hopkins for mailing this video to us hope you enjoy it
I told Thomas Roten I had a hot tub, and he called the police and reported that Bubba had a stolen bath fixture. When the last breath of life is gone from my body, my lips are as cold as the sea. When my friends gather round for my farewell party, won't you pretend you love me? flowers from those who cry when I go and leave you in this world alone I know you have fun at my farewell be glad when I'm gone. Play it, buddy. Give that man a hand. He's one of the greats. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you.
Can all the, the, the current members of the Steel Guitar Hall of Fame come up here with me, please? Woo! The few and the proud. <laughs> Y'all in good company, though. You're in real good company with Lloyd Green, Julian Thorpe, and Count Reservers. The next uh, inductee is uh, Mr. Thomas Roten. Would you, Thomas, would you please come up with your family? <laughs> Thomas taught us all how to play. He he'd been uh, he's he's he taught Mike a few things. But well, anyway, uh, Thomas wrote. Thomas started playing steel guitar in 1955 at the age of 14. At 17, Thomas joined the United States Army and served seven years with stations in the U.S. and Germany. Thomas played all the service club to include touring for a month in Europe with Grand Ole Opry stars headlined by Stonewall Jackson. After his discharge, Thomas was a much sought after steel guitarist. Thomas had played with country music stars Mel Street, George Morgan, Sammy Smith, Jenny Pewitt, Jack Green, Jeannie Seeley, Barbara Fairchild, Hank Williams Jr., and many other stars. One of Thomas's best gigs was with Bob Johnson and the Bobcats. <laughs> And this fellow right here, that fellow right there played drums. If you don't know who he is, that's Mike Johnson. Uh, Thomas showed Bob's son, Mike, a few things on the steel guitar on, on their brakes. Mike played drums. Thomas is still very active today playing country and gospel music. And... On the lighter side, Thomas has probably done more for our kind of music in the last 40 years than anybody from these parts. And uh, he has a he has a, a TV show. It's syndicated. It's going to a lot of stations. And if you ever get a chance, you need to watch it because it's always got good gospel music and steel music, and he's always praising the Lord. So he's also a preacher. So he's going to preach my funeral. I hope. I, I live a little bit longer. Uh, Mark, you want to say a few things about Thomas? Yeah. I was on the way up here. I was I passed the what you call it. It wouldn't be an exit. I guess it's a street for uh, Union Springs. So that's where I used to play drums and watch everything he was doing. I was sitting there. I'd find my place back there so I could see every move he was making. And it was it was good times. It was really good times. He was such a great inspiration to me and. And, you know, just always play great. And I guess one of the things I was thinking about, the, you actually, I mean, I was only 15 or 16, whatever, 15 playing, yeah, 15 playing drums. And uh, I thought, you know what? He makes that steel pretty cool. He, it's a cool instrument. And, and that's, that's really the reason that, that I, as much as anything, I thought, I want to do that, you know. I thought it'd be a lot easier than toting drums around, you know, but... I, I, I don't think I did so good on that part. <laughs> but uh, he is a wonderful man, and, and the, the best part of it is that he's gave his life to the Lord. And uh, that's, that's more special than anything else. But I'm honored to be here. There's two reasons I'm here, and, and this is the reason. I'll tell you the other one here in just a minute. What else you got to say, Bill? Say something else to the people. You got it done? On May 21st, 2017, and I have some flowers for Mrs. Roten, Linda, Miss Linda, and for Mama Dot. Mama Dot is the adopted mother of all the steel guitarists in, in, this, in these parts. Yeah. I remember Miss Linda, too. She took care of me when I was really little. <laughs> okay. Thomas, you want to say anything? Thank you so much, Mike. Uh, I know that every song that I kicked off with your dad's band, you've probably taken every note 
and perfected it because I'm, I'm I'm not worthy of this, folks. I, this is just. You're very much worthy. I appreciate Mike and uh, your mom and, and and Bob and I told you to start with I remember Bob say Tommy boy kick off Corina Corina <laughs> and so everything I do today Mike has already taken it and perfected it I'm not much of a steel player but this man is a steel player he is the tops you just don't get no higher than Mike Johnson and <laughs> but this is such an honor and, and I, I, again I'm not worthy of it but I thank all of you you still guitar players here you deserve this uh, I just thank you so much and Jack uh, you, you such a blessing you, you and your wife and everybody here thank all of you for everything that you've done and uh, I want to thank Jesus today because without him I wouldn't be here. Uh, one day I was sitting playing the steel guitar in a nightclub, and a man walked in, he pulled a pistol out, and he shot a woman about 10 feet in front of me. And she was dead before she hit the floor. And the blood splattered. And I went outside and I said, God, help me, get me out of this. The next day, I walked in a little Baptist church in Columbus, Georgia, and I gave my heart to Jesus, and I hadn't been the same ever since. <laughs> I love him, folks. I, I'm not here to preach, but I love Jesus. And I love country music, and I love my family. I want to thank my wife. This is our anniversary today. 57 years. <laughs> and, and I want to thank so many of you. And if I start calling names, I, I miss some of you. Uh, I'm glad that we have the uh, Union Springs Herald from Union Springs, Faye Gaston's covering an article for the newspaper. And uh, this will go out, some of this will go out on television. And we're on 16 TV stations. We're not in this part of the, of the state, but we're on in uh, the eastern side of Mississippi and Alabama and part of Georgia. But uh, I just thank all of you and thank you so much, Mike. And <laughs> I love you too. Wow. And uh, Bill Cook, I quit playing the steel guitar a few years ago. And uh, I told Bill, I said, I'm, uh, I'm just uh, sitting here with this steel guitar and I don't need it. I'm not playing it anymore. I said, you want to buy it? And he said, yeah, I'll come down and look at it. So he, he bought the steel guitar and my amplifier and I, I thought I was out of the business. A few weeks later, he called me up and said, we got a steel jam, I want you to come play steel. I said, Bill, I don't even have a steel guitar. He said, Yours, your old one will be set up on the stage. And so I went up there and I played the steel guitar at that jam and when it was over, he said, why don't you just load that steel guitar up and take it back home with you and if I need it, I'll know where it's at. And right now, there's three steel guitars in my house that belongs to Bill Cook. <laughs> Bill would not, he refused to let me retire from the steel guitar. And I'm 75 years old, and I guess I'm in it to stay, if the Lord will let me. Thank y'all so much. God bless you. Thank you so much, Mike Johnson. The Top steel guitar player in the nation. Plays with Reba, plays with Willie Nelson. He's on RFD TV every week on uh, Country Family Reunion. You see him on Larry's Country Diner. So many different artists that he plays with. And I was so honored for him to present this uh, award for the Alabama Steel Guitar Association Hall of Fame. Him and Bill Cook, thank you all very much. And thank you, everybody. For supporting me. Hey, I got that television. I can see you right there sitting in that chair at home. Put down that remote, pick up that spit cup, and watch Country Music USA. Bill, you know what time it is? Thomas, it's time for some more good Country Music USA. Well, let's get out of here and let them folks see some good music, some good singing. 
they've we got some talented people here today. I hope y'all enjoy. Yes, sir. sneaked up on us and it's really it's time for us to go um we, we wish we could play all night but um our time is up and we thank you for yours bye-bye <laughs>